Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Derby County 2016 Summer Catwalk Transfer Show. And today we have five lovely models who have all arrived into luxurious Darbados. And we're going to start first with the most beautiful Nick Hergaver. He has signed from Ajax for 3.2 million pounds, is 27 years of age, and plays at left back. His three main strengths are tackling, marking, and having a name that I am going to pronounce incorrectly quite a lot. Oh, here comes the lovely Czech Republican goalkeeper. Thomas Vaklik, who joins from FC Basel for £2.7 million. The goalkeeper has very, very good handling and great reflexes. He also likes big butts and he cannot lie. And here comes a 23-year-old English model, Ravel Morrison, who joins from Lazio on a £1 million loan deal. His key strengths are being very flourious and having key dribbling. Next from Central Africa we have 27 year old Nigerian striker Odion Egalo who joins for a £100,000 loan fee. His key strengths are finishing, heading and having everyone believe in him. He told us today that his dream is that he wants to build a snowman. Which is a pretty shitty dream, to be fair. Dream bigger. Last but certainly not least is Croatian 27-year-old centre-back Dejan Lovren, who joined for £650,000 loan fee from Liverpool. His key attributes are tackling, heading, and making lots and lots of mistakes. Dejan likes pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. Oh, nice. Now give it up for our beautiful models. Yes, yes, congratulate. Yes, yes, well done. Yep, you can walk. Congratulations, lads. Which is good because you're now footballers. You're no longer models, you're now footballers, so get to work. <laughs> yes, those are our signings and lads. On the ins, we have Nick uh, Veergaver, as I think I pronounced it, or Vigjiva. I please answer on a postcard. I'm looking at you, James. You know, uh, D for G, FM. I'm looking at you. You're, you're, you're. Dutch, so I'm hoping that you can help me with that pronunciation. We've got Thomas Vaklik uh, joining us from Basel, who looks a very, very decent player. Dejan Lovren is a massive signing, and what a coup that is. Uh, Ravel Morrison is a great um, advanced playmaker type player, very creative. Um, a bit of a troublemaker, but I think we can keep him under control. And we've brought back Odion Egalo for cover, because you have to always believe in Egalo. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Um, on the outs then, quickly looking over here, we have Ryan Shotton leaving the club for £500,000, uh, Jake Buxton leaving the club for £100,000, and Lee Grant leaving the club for £71,000, all going to Bristol, which means good luck, Bristol. Enjoy relegation. Simon Dawkins has left the club to go to Peterborough. A couple of, there are all the players we've released, and a couple of loan deals. Ferrand Rawson, Ivan Clero, Jamie Hansen, and Timmy Elsnick have all gone out on loan to... League one and two clubs. So that's that. We've spent 7.66 million this season and uh, have, have brought in um, £671,000 worth. Not great, but, 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 think of the positives. Uh, TV money. A lot of it. We are going to have the fattest pocket to bring in the biggest booty bitches around. Like, big booty bitches, they're American. I mean, most of them. So if we can hit them with like a, you know, imagine that, a $1,000 holler so quickly they would love it and i i cannot wait the big booty bitch i mean i'm talking about hookers basically talking about hookers we're gonna get some hookers if we survive that is it that's actually what i've told the squad i said if we survive we're gonna have a hooker party which is um i think 
a unique and unorthodox tactic to get your players to perform. So there's the League table then. And you're thinking, Jordan, there's been no games. Why are you showing us the League table? Well, so I'm showing you the uh, new badge pack I downloaded. I've, uh, shout out to uh, Footbee, I believe it's called. It's the badge pack. Oh, there'll be a link in the description. Um... And I, I, I'm just testing it out because um, I, I really like the look of it, to be fair. I really like this quite stylized look. Um, and and I think it looks quite good. So I'm going to test it out. So I thought I'd see it in a video, see how you guys like it. And if you want me to put the proper badges back on, uh, then, you know, I happily will do. But I just think the badges look so goddamn sexual. Like, I mean, Man City's looks great. I mean, you know, Norwich's looks good. Swansea's look good. Just a lot of really good looking uh, badges in this one. So I'm pretty damn chuffed. And I'm also chuffed with our pre-season friendlies they went really really well we started with a 4-0 victory over Alloa just to ease us back into it uh, went up to Scotland uh, and had a, a, a good good performance Tom Ince, Chris Martin, Jacob Butterfield getting on the score sheet um, the keeper playing well, Lovren playing well, Raul Albantoza who's a player who's returned from Malaga signed a new deal he looks quite good he's got very good stats so I um, Donkey in real life, literally, I mean, the, he's probably, the most English he's ever spoken is actually equivalent of a donkey. So he's literally just gone, Eow! really weird, and I shouldn't have done that so close to my mic, I'm sorry. Um, but we had a 3-0 victory against Avellino, Butterfield and Martin continuing their form. Uh, we went on a little uh, week-long tour of Italy. Um, we then, unfortunately, were defeated by Genoa, um, who played quite well in fairness. Uh, Weinman got a goal, and our left-back got sent off, where I'm noticing... Gets a lot of yellow cards, uh, which is a bit of a worry. We had a 1-0 scrappy victory against Inter Milan. You're thinking, John, I bet that was a smash and grab. You are damn right. We had two shots and 32% possession, and we won the game. Chrissy Martin getting the goal, continuing that form, as he did against uh, Burton Albion. And when I signed Dejan Lovren, I did not expect him to be scoring 93rd minute winners, but he did against Burton, and I love it. So... Uh, keep doing what you're doing, Dayan. And a 3-0 victory against Club Bruges, which was a, a very pleasing uh, game because it shows that against a, a club of similar size. I mean, they're a little bit, probably a little bit smaller than us. No disrespect, Club Bruges fans, but I doubt you're watching. Um, but a 3-0 victory and Martin scoring yet again, as did he do against Ilkeston, which is like, the way I, I organise my fixtures is I always have um, one fixture at the very end, the last one before we play the week before, which I put a, a really terrible team. No respect to but, you know, a really small team that we're going to batter just to boost the confidence going into the first game. The lineup up sends. Starts with the away side, Newcastle United. Number 26, Cole Darlow. Number 18, Chancel and Bemba. Number 10, Seem De Jong. Number 9, Papi Cisse. Number 4, Jack Colback. Number 17, Masmo Haidara. And number 45, Alexander Mitrovic. And the line, the starting lineup is number 1, Tim Krul. Number 22, Daryl Yamat. Number 13, Mensa. Number 2, Fabrizio Collins. Martini, number three, Paul Dummett. Number five, Jorginho Wijnaldum. Number eight, Vernon Anita. Number 19, Nathan Redmond. Number 12, Remy Cabela. Number 14, Rodrigo. And number 11, Ayose Perez. The home side, this is what we care about. Number 38, Matt Yates. Number six, Richard Keogh. Number 16, Alex Pierce. Number 34, George Fawn. Number four, Craig Bryson. Number 19, Will Hughes. And number 30, Mason Bennett. And the starting lineup then, Scott Carson. Number 13, Cyrus Christie. Number two. Number 5, Raul Abentoza. Number 20, Dejan Lovren. Number 3, Ver Vergeva. Number 18, Bradley Johnson. Number 12, Jacob Butterfield. Number 14, Ravel Morrison. Number 10, Andreas Weiman. Number 7, Tom Ince. And number 9, Chris Martin. Here we go then. Our first kick of the new Premier League season. Oh my god, and we immediately give it away <laughs> in our first little bit of play. But let's see how this game unravels before us. Now it's pretty good to judge the game around this time. Um, Newcastle have had the first shot but the possession is very very even. Um, it's interesting really so far. We are committing quite a lot of fouls but we generally do that due to our closing down style. Um, it's a ball in though. Here's Jorginho in Yaldo. That's a fantastic block from last season's player of the season Cyrus Christie. Anita puts the ball in. It's away by six foot four Alban Toza. Tom Ince tries to close down Nathan Redmond. They've still got a chance here though. Anita Cyrus Christie once again already adjusted to life in the Premier Leagues by the looks of it. Tim Krull. Oh, I thought it was going to be a dodgy a dodgy uh, goal kick then. Um, but if we can just close them down, I mean, the way we operate is perfect for their like for their formation because it's sort of a man for man, you know, I mean, where they've got an attacking midfielder in the 4-2-3-1, we've got a defensive midfielder. Um, but we now have the ball, Cyrus Christie. Vyman's still got it. Plays in Cyrus Christie, who's very good going forward. you got to remember, Ravel Morrison, Chris Martin. Oh, my Finish goodness, he's rocketed one. Oh, I thought Cyrus Christie was going to get our first goal in the Premier League. Is there still another highlight? Christie finds Vyman so quickly after the other one. Johnson finds Christie with a beautiful angled ball. Vyman, Butterfield, put it in. Put a little cross. Martin, Vyman, put the ball back in. 
Tommins! He didn't really do much last season, but he's made a brilliant start. 40 minutes in the game, Derby 1, Newcastle 0, Steve McLaren, read it and weep. And a lovely, well-worked passing move, Butterfield, Martin into Vyman, that lovely just immediately distributing the ball on the first touch, one-touch football, and Tom Ince getting his head on it, not known for scoring headed goals. But I'll take it, and I'll take this at half-time. 2-1-0 up so far, performing well, not letting the occasion get the better of us. We are rising to the occasion, and currently are doing very, very well. Raul Albentoza, I mean, just at the bottom there, it said Raul Albentoza has been dominant in the efforts. I mean, he bled a bloody bleed, he better bloody be. God knows what that was. I mean, I have like a speech impediment or something, I swear. But a six foot four, he's, he's a man mountain. That's a lovely ball, by the way. Feynman's round him. Oh, but he's also round the post. Oh, so unlucky. Here's Redmond, who's a very great player. But Jacob Butterfield with a brilliant tackle. Ravel Morrison now just plays a long ball. Chris Martin shrugged off Mensa. Oh, and he's found the keeper, and he's found the keeper again. A great double save from Tim Krull. That's going to be the change we're going to make. Boy Wonder, Will Hughes, Milky Bar Kid, get out there, do your business. Not like shit on the floor or something, and get swifty. <laughs> no, but don't. Please don't shit on the pitch. And I talk about shitting on the pitch, and Jose Perez just took a shit on my mood because, oh fucking Ali Jose Perez, you just pulled down your shorts right. I feel like you've cut, you've ran over to my technical area, whipped out your shorts, and took a massive steaming dump right in front of me. You, you've just annoyed me. I like you, Jose Perez. I think you're a good player, but that's just, that's just not, that's just not fair. You've not deserved that. We're going to make a last minute change and we're going to bring on Mason Bennett. We're going to put some faith in the youngster. You know, a player tipped for big things at one point. Doesn't really look like he's going to fulfill that potential, but he could get a Premier League goal here. Or maybe Newcastle could steal the game late on. I thought it was about to be a penalty. I thought it was a push on Colicini. Here's Wijnaldum. Oh, you're kidding me. You are fucking kidding me. Oh, the genie's worked up a bit of magic and he's put a freaking curse on us, I swear. Cissé put the ball into him. Oh no, yeah he did, yeah he did. I was say, that's not me now, but it was. Banter. And his shot, did it get blocked? I think it's been blocked. Oh, and it's for Jeeva. Or for Gaver. Oh, that's so harsh. And like that, we've gone from being comfortable to losers and it's full time. Wow, Jesus Christ, this game's toying with my emotions. It was banter.